Hello everybody, it's Craig here. Last time I showed you how to install Sonic Project 06 onto your Steam Deck and this time I'm going to be showing you how to put another fan made game Sonic Triple Trouble 16 bit onto your Steam Deck. Um, I found once again that there was no videos that easily show you how to do this. It's quite a simple install itself so I'll just run through it with you. Now you can do this with just your Steam Deck, however I recommend using a Bluetooth or USB mouse and keyboard. Here is what I use connected with a USB hub that I will link in the description below. You're going to want to put your Steam Deck into desktop mode, go into your browser of choice and go onto the Game Jolt Triple Trouble page. I will link this in the description below. On this page you want to go down to the 64-bit version and click on download. It should download automatically but if not try again. After it's downloaded you're going to want to extract it. Double click on your zip folder and then click on extract and then extract again and this will extract into wherever the folder is located. So now we can just go ahead and delete that original zip. Next up a little bit of admin. I like to rename my stuff so that it will make sense to me. So I'm just going to trim the end off of this and after that I will put it onto my memory card because I have an external micro SD on my Steam Deck. But you can save it wherever you wish. We're going to want to add our game to the Steam store. So in the bottom left hand corner we click on add a game and add a non Steam game. Here we want to browse to where our file is. As I said earlier, I've saved mine on my micro SD card, so I need to go down to that directory. Once I've found it, I'm going to open the folder and then change the file type to all files and then find the executable and then open that up. Then I'm going to add selected programs and there we have it, it is now added to Steam. Next up, we're gonna go into our library. If it's like mine, it should be in the uncategorized section. As you can see, it's got no artwork unlike the rest of the games. Here, we're gonna go into the properties. Uh, we do this by clicking on the cog and then going to the properties section. As I mentioned earlier, I do like a little bit of admin work, so we're going to just rename it so it doesn't have the executable on the end. Next, we are going to compatibility. We're going to force the use of Proton. I use the most recent version of Proton myself and haven't had any problems thus far with it. We're going to go back into game mode now. We're going to go into the game and we are going to just quickly check the controller settings. We want game pad with joystick trackpad. Then we're going to launch it to see if it runs. I've sped this up in the video so that you can see it's loading at 4.5 speed, but as you can see it is launching. However, it does look a bit small, so let's change that. In the options menu we can change the screen size to times 2 We can also change the frames per second on the special stage and the aspect ratio to widescreen. As you can see now the game's running the way we want it, but let's just make sure it's working fine as well. As you can see, Zone Zero is working fine. I've cropped the video on my end. On your version, however, the Sonic and Tails icons in the bottom left should show with no cropping issues. So the game runs fine. However, if you want to make it a little bit nicer on your Steam layout, you can do that by going to the Steam Grid database. I'll leave a link for the game in the description below. As I said earlier, I do like things organized. So what I do is I add my 
game into my SD folder because that's the games that live on my memory stick. And then we'll take it a bit further using the icons that we had from the Steam Grid database. We can add them by going in to things like set custom artwork. From here, we can add different images wherever they are in your file directory. As you can see, I've added them on here. On this completed version, you can right click on there to set a banner image. And you can also go into the properties that we went into earlier and even edit the little icon. If you found anything in this video helpful, please give it a like. Consider subscribing. I've also got a podcast that's on YouTube and podcast platforms. Subscribe to that too. Why not? We're all here. It's the season of giving. It's the season of Sonic. Till next time, bye.